Okay, I'm gonna show you how uh, to create a tour using VR Tour Builder, or Tour Creator in Google. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to vr.google.com. You notice it goes to arvr.google, that's fine. Under VR, virtual reality, you're gonna see Tour Creator link. And that's gonna take me into the Tour Creator. All right, I'm gonna click on Get Started and you know, really you're going to authenticate with uh, your Google account. And I'm gonna click on New Tour. Now for this case, I'm going to do Matterhorn. And under Description, I'm gonna go back into my research guide that I have all my information here. And under Description, I'm going to copy and paste my location. That gives a good idea. Um, as far as category, I'm going to select Science. And for an image, I'm going to use Unsplash. And here I'm going to type in Matterhorn again. And I'm going to find a picture that I think would look great. I really like this one. Click on it. The beautiful thing about Unsplash, it's copyright free. So you guys are free to download this and use it. Um, right here it is. It shows up down here on the Chromebook that may be a little bit different. But what I'm going to do is just take it here and drag it right over top. And now I have my image, I have my description here, which is the location, and my title, and I'm going to select Create. Here is where I get into Street View. So I'm ready to create some scenes. In this particular project, you're going to have four scenes. So I'm going to type in Matterhorn, and I'm gonna make sure it's the one in Switzerland. So here I have this little yellow guy right here and what's cool is I can look around now um, for this and if I click on him and hold you're gonna see these little blue dots I want to drag to a spot on the blue dot so I'm gonna select this one right here oh I just missed it okay and now here I am and I'm looking at the path to take to go up towards Matterhorn so I'm going to add this particular scene, okay, just by selecting Add Scene. At this point, I want to select, set the starting view. What that means is when people get to this scene, this is what they're going to see. So I'm going to click on Set Starting View. I'm going to hold it around, find where I want them to view, okay? Right here is good. I'm going to click on Save. Then I'm going to title this one. Uh, let me look back at this paper. I'm going to do type of landform. Type of landform. Okay. And for description, again, I'll go back here and select my type of landform and put it in here. Just copying and pasting. The awesome thing here is you can add audio or scene narration. So if I want to talk over this or even if I want to read that, I can. I just use online voice recorder, press record, say what I want, save it, and then import it later. Um, I'm not going to include that in the video, but you can do that, which is really neat. You can also add credits if you're using photos from somewhere else um, or uh, another form of audio. With the adding point of interest, this one's really cool. So part of um, my landform, the type of landform, is I want to define what that landform is. And here I have definition of landform type. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. But I don't want to just add it here. I want to add a point of interest. So I'm going to find a spot here. Maybe you want people to look around. Right here is good. Okay, I'm going to click on add a point of interest and drag that right above there. And I'm going to call this one um, Glacier Horn. And under here, I'm going to paste that in so a glacier horn is formed and it, how it's formed so when they click on that that's what they're going to see what's also great is I can add an image overlay so going back to unsplash I'm going to find a really good picture of Matterhorn and this one's good okay I'm gonna download this one I'm gonna go back Click on my little image overlay and drag in my image and click on add. Okay, it takes a couple seconds. 
And now I can actually resize that using the blue boxes up there. And I can put that anywhere I'd like. So now when students click there, or when anyone clicks there, they're going to not only see the image, but they'll also see this information over here. Okay, to add a new scene, you just click on add scene. It's going to take you back. And what I find is if I delete one letter, I can then select it again, and I'm back at the different scenes. What's really cool about this particular one is all along here, I can drag to different spots and then I can almost act like I am walking along here as I'm getting different views and trying to find that one. As you can see here, you can see exactly where I'm at. Um, so it gives you a good idea of where you want to put your points of interest and how you're going to tell the story. So then you just click on add scene and go about the same way as you did before. So that is how you create a tour. At the end, obviously, you're going to publish it. You can either do public, where anyone can access it, or you can do unlisted, which means only people with that link that you specifically put in there um, to give to would have access to that. All right, I hope that helps.